Hey guys, so I have thought about it and I've asked you guys and I finally decided to create the video blog about my experience here in Korea and learning Korean and different stuff like that. So yeah, that's coming up. Okay, so for some of you that may not know, yes, I am in Korea. I'm studying Korean. I'm studying Korean. So the reason I'm in Korea is I received a scholarship from my church to come to Korea to study Korean for a year and then to go to university and study for four years. So I'll be living in Korea for five years. So when I first came to Korea, actually even before I left the airport, when I was going through immigration, the person I was standing next to actually happened to be one of the most famous dancers that I watch and admire and all that kind of stuff. So I got to talk to him and I got a picture with him right there. Super awesome guy, super amazing at dancing. One thing I can say when I first got here, there was a point where I was like, I'm not in America anymore. <laughs> when I first arrived here, actually, I didn't come directly to school. I went to uh, Cheongpyeong. For those of you that are not aware of what Cheongpyeong is, it is land that is owned by our church. To put it simply, it's like where everything happens, and like the. We'll just leave it at that. Anyway, so I went to stay there for a few days uh, before school started and basically while I was there, I ran into one of my good childhood friends, Toya. I was so happy to see him because I was still kind of getting over the shock of being in Korea and being away from home and my family and all those different things. So it was really nice to like connect back to him and connect back to like something I was familiar with. Yeah, so that was really awesome and uh, for, some of you, for those of you that know, uh, I was actually able to be there for Foundation Day. It's a big day where a lot of people get married and awesome stuff like that happens. Anyway, that was a really awesome experience being able to get to be there in person and like see all that stuff happen. After I was in Chompyeong, I left actually with my friend Toya. Actually, he was, the reason why he was there is because he's on this program called SDF Europe, but they were in Korea for the time being. Basically, I went with them back to Seoul. So I was in Seoul for about a day with them. I got to walk around and look at the cool pictures of Seoul. And anyway, um, so that was pretty cool. So after I was there, I had to actually find my way back from Seoul to my school, which was about a two hour trip through like public transportation. So anyway, that was pretty interesting. And so I finally arrived at school. And for those that don't know, I am attending Summit University Korean Language Institute. This school is actually separated into two different campuses. So right now I'm on the Chunan campus, which is only where the Korean language school is. And at the Asan campus is where the actual university is, where I'll be going next year. For those of you that don't know, I used to live in Korea for a few months. I lived at the Asan campus. And when I first got here, I went over to the Asan campus and I wanted to go see my old house or where I used to live. So that was a really cool experience, kind of like getting, connecting back with that. And so, you know, here's a few pictures of actually where I used to live. So it was really cool getting to see that. And I actually also went to go see a few of my friends that I met before I came to Korea. So of course, school started. So we started learning Korean and different stuff like that. And I'll say majority of the people in the scholarship are Japanese. Because of that, a good amount of my friends are Japanese. But the difficult part is that they don't speak English. And I don't speak Japanese. So we have to speak to each other in Korean, which is kind of interesting, but kind of frustrating at some time. Shortly after I got here, some of my Korean friends, they they took me out to the city and showed me a few things and went around shopping and ate stuff and that was pretty cool. And also for those of you that are wondering, uh, actually I am recording this in my room. So of course this is my room, this is my desk, that's my roommate. And <laughs> so I think I'm going to wrap it up for today. I know I have a whole lot of different other experiences that I want to talk about or different experiences that I've had or different things that I think about Korea or different things in general that I want to talk about. But of course this video is getting kind of long and I kind of just wanted to give you guys a brief introduction of what I've been doing since I've gotten here. And different things that I've noticed, different things that have, you know, happened, and basically my general experience or my general impression of Korea. I hope that you guys can stay tuned for weeks to come. I still don't know whether I'll be doing this weekly or bi-weekly, depending on my schedule. Hopefully that you guys can continue to watch these and continue to be a part of this experience and me sharing my awesome journeys. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time.